Hi everyone, so today I'm here to do something really unique and out of my comfort zone. Usually I'm the one doing my makeup in my channel um, or my family or my friends, but today I'm gonna get my makeup done by the best reviewed, best rated makeup artist in my city. Technically also LA because she has a ton of reviews and I've never seen somebody with 516 reviews and it's all five stars, guys. So let me find her really quick. Um, I found her on Yelp, obviously. It wasn't that hard. I had to scroll like once or twice and then I was like, okay, I can see that people really love her. Um, so let me look at the comments, guys. So in the comments, it says she was very professional and worked very hard. Um, this one says she's very nice and patient and gives good suggestions. Um, the other one right here said she was really shocked and amazed by her before and after pictures after her trial. There's some, there's one that's a bad review. Let's see what this is about. Okay, so she said, oh, she probably shaved a little bit off of her eyebrows looks like and she is not happy about that. But most of it, guys, it is all five stars. Like I'm just gonna quickly like show you guys lots of five stars she does do a lot of engagement and wedding makeup looks that i see here but it seems like she has a whole team like she has a ton of other makeup artists that work there as well so i'm sure i can find somebody that can do my dramatic makeup look um, let me show you guys the photo that i'll be showing her so this is the photo right here guys i'm sure you guys have seen it it's one of the most popular makeup pictures on pinterest and this is so me guys i love the style of makeup um that beautiful cut crease i want my face to be be just like this so this is what i'm going to be showing her and i told her this is for a photo shoot for my socials um so yeah i'm really excited guys because this is actually my first time going to a makeup salon and getting my makeup done so it's going to be a really new experience for me um also the pricing it was only hundred dollars which i think was a really good price for somebody that was rated so high definitely going to be looking at how friendly she is how well she takes my suggestions um the hygiene and overall how it's going to turn out so um i think i am pretty much ready guys Guys, I am so excited. I'm ready to get this makeover, so let's go. Okay guys, my friend Tao is here Hi. and we are about to head over there. Um, I think we're a little early. Usually I'm always late because makeup obviously takes forever for me. Um, so this is the first time I'm gonna be on time. <laughs> so it's gonna be maybe like a 20 minute drive from here. We walked in and this is the little beauty studio. It's really cute. Kind of reminds me of my makeup room. Um, I think she was in the restroom at this moment. So I did a little video before video. Even though I was really early, she was already prepared and ready to do the makeup, which was really nice. Um, so yeah, she asked me what look I wanted to do and I showed her the photo. She took a screenshot of it. So you could probably see her like turning back and looking at it once in a while. So I think she's just applying the primer, concealing like little spots in my face right now. Um, look at me trying to be slick, trying to record myself. Okay, so now she's just blending it. And that sponge, guys, that sponge is dirty. So I don't know. I'm a little grossed out. I also noticed that she was using really expensive high-end makeup. You guys can see right in front of me, the foundations. There was a lot of MAC products as well. Um, so she gets a point for that. I think that's a Bobbi Brown eyebrow kit that she's using right now. Um, the eyebrow is going to be the real test, guys, because I've had my makeup done before by professionals, and then the eyebrows never look that great. So I am very curious to see how she's going to do my brows. I like them so far. I think she's doing a really good job with the eyebrows. Um, I did tell her to make it a bit more thicker and defined, and this is what they look like, guys. Next, it looks like she's applying eyeliner, which is kind of interesting. I usually see people apply eyeshadow and then the eyeliner, but maybe that's her style. It works for her, so let's just go with it. Um, here's the makeup products, guys. Again, here's the eyeshadow palette that she's using. I don't know if it's Smashbox, just a wild guess. And then she's applying the darker brown on my lids now. I believe she's applying the gold eyeshadow now. Um, the eye makeup is definitely not heading the direction that I wanted. I think she needs a bit more pigmented gold eyeshadow for sure. But it's not done yet. So, Or is it? Okay, we're applying eyelashes. So I think we're basically done with the eye makeup. I don't know what to say about the eye makeup. I'm just going to take time to gather my thoughts for now. But she did apply a lot of lash glue, guys. So even though I cry a river, those lashes are not coming off. 
I think sometimes there are makeup artists that are really good at replicating things and then there's just somebody that really knows how to enhance your look so maybe I'll look you know so much prettier by the end of this so it should be judged by that um, now she's doing my foundation it is a really good match you guys can see my skin is glowing right now I believe she used the Giorgio Armani silk foundation I can also see there's some contouring going on. Um, she contoured my cheekbones and then really contoured the jawline. So it looks really good, guys. I think the contouring and then the skin so far is looking very flawless. I have been in the studio for over an hour and she definitely is a perfectionist. She's taking her time to perfect the look, wants to make sure that I'm happy. Um, so I do love that. And she's applying some bronzer now and then I think we're going to do the lips. On my lip, she used a MAC lip liner first, and I think she mostly just outlined it. Um, after that, I'm not sure which lipstick she used, but it was kind of sheer. I would have liked if it had a bit more color since I like a bit of a bolder lip. Um, and then, yeah, guys, that was basically two hours in the beauty studio getting glammed up. Now let's drive home, and then we can talk about this whole experience. Okay guys, I am back in my studio and now you guys can really see what the makeup looks like. It was kind of hard to film um, for me, especially my friend was filming from the side, but for me it was kind of hard because she was like working on me and then I think she she felt like I was too impatient almost. I was trying like my best to be respectful and stuff. So I got to like couple clips of me just holding it straight up to my face. Um, but yeah guys, so this is the result and I feel like she did a pretty good job with the skin like the foundation matching is really impressive um, she did a really good job with the eyebrows usually when I do my eyebrows I do it a little heavy-handed so I do like that she gave me these really nice natural eyebrows um, oh the eyeshadows the eyeshadows look nothing like the photo guys I wish she added more color it's not even the same style of eye makeup that one is more cut crease and the pigment the gold pigment is like pow and it's just it kind of reminds me of the eye makeup I used to do back in like 2010 or something. Um, so yeah guys, and then the lips, there's not much color. She did put a little bit of like highlight on the tip of my nose, which I like to do a lot. Um, so yeah guys, I think overall I do look prettier. I, my beauty is enhanced, but definitely nothing like the photo which I was expecting. Um, but she did mention that she does more bridal looks, so she likes more elegant style. But I feel like if you're like the top rated makeup artist, you should be able to be versatile because you're going to have all kind of clients come in and ask for a different type of looks. What are you guys' thoughts, guys? I want to know in the comments. Would you give her five star? Uh, would you get your makeup done by her? Uh, let me know in the comments below, guys. I think she was really sweet, very professional, um, really nice. And she really took her time to perfect my makeup, which I really appreciated. And it's kind of fun to see like different styles of makeup look and stuff. So this was a really cool experience, which I've never done before. So thank you guys so much for, you know, telling me to do this. I might also go to the worst reviewed makeup artist. So let me know, give likes if you guys want to see that. And yeah, that is all for today, guys. Until next time, bye!